it's a very exciting time to be a wrestling fan. If you're in the business of making money, it would behoove you to be a safe and inclusive space. Whether you agree with what someone is saying has nothing to do with his right to say it. Five times World Wrestling Federation Champion. This belt is just a toy. It's like a trinket on a Christmas tree, like an ornament. The belt that I want is the one that the great Muta has, the IWGP belt. Because when Hulk Hogan wins the IWGP Championship, which he should have right now, it will prove that New Japan Pro Wrestling and Hulk Hogan is the greatest, the greatest partners in the world because I want all the great wrestlers to come to me and I want them to come to Japan where I can wrestle. What's up, y'all? My name is Devontae, and I sacrificed my time so you don't have to. I had to give you guys a little bit of a early morning special. Pause. Nah, real talk, though. This came by my radar, and I didn't think I'd be making two videos on Ronda Rousey. I thought the first one would have been perfectly clear. Cut. This is over. Tie a bow on it. Seal it. Ship it down the Nile River. But apparently, we're still talking about Ronda Rousey in 2024. She's getting she's getting that clout. I got to give her props. Again, for as bad as a wrestler she happens to be, the girl can work. Like, real talk. And I ain't talking about working as a wrestler. No, I mean, she's a worker, as in she's a carny. Because for some reason, her name is still in my mouth. Uh, here, check this article out. This is one of the most delusional shits I've ever seen in my life. So this is an article that's coming from the Sportster. I'll have the link down in the description box below if you guys want to read by yourselves. Ronda Rousey details one of her final interactions with Triple H before WWE exit. Excerpts from Ronda Rousey's autobiography have been doing the rounds recently, and the rowdy one has not been pulling punches when it comes to her two stints in WWE, which, by the way, she was underneath the same contract. I just want to let you guys know she went on hiatus just for the people out there who don't understand how contracts work and for the morons out there who are saying things like, well, Devontae in the last video, by the way, well, you know, let's nah, let me get into this. I'm pulling up bullshit on top of labeling the company a shit show. Rousey also has some pretty damning things to say about Vince McMahon. Despite seemingly burning the bridge between herself and WWE in the process, she had a lot of good to say about Triple H. However, one of her final conversations with the game before departing WWE last year likely means she won't be back anytime soon. Speaking with Case ICs, Rousey revealed what she told Triple H before leaving WWE last summer. And I quote, I had a long sit down with Triple H and I was like, I can't be associated with mediocrity. And that's what they seem to be happy with at the time. And I hope that it's different now. While detailing the frustration she encountered working in WWE, Rousey did try to defend Triple H, even going as far as to say if the shift of power from McMahon to the game had happened sooner, things would have probably been different. And a further quote, Triple H has been great towards the women in the company and really believing in us. He's the whole reason why I was there, because he believed in me. I really wish that my last run was under Triple H running things and Vince being gone. Even though Triple H was technically in charge of WWE Creative during Rousey's most recent run, it was a poorly kept secret that McMahon was still pulling the strings. Now TKL has taken over, the, taken over and McMahon has been removed from the board following the lawsuit filed against him. The former chairman doesn't have any say in what happens in WWE for the first time since the mid-1980s. Well, uh, and then the rest of this stuff pretty much goes into what I essentially talked about in the last video regarding Ronda Rousey. So now that we have a little bit of context and clarity, can I further go into this if you guys don't mind? So I feel like I should at least clarify this for most people. Uh, Ronda Rousey is really getting up there in age, right? 
and this is just my own personal perspective i could very much be wrong about this but um i know the dsm5 recently or well, not too recently but recently enough uh they just uh, declare that na that um the, uh, the npd narcissistic personality disorder is not recognized by them right so there's a strong possibility and i'm just throwing it out there that she could have a bit of a mental illness you know what i mean where like she is because this is just how i look at it when you're so delusional to your position in the world there is a strong possibility that you could not just be a narcissist but such a narcissist that it could be i don't know like a mental evaluation that should be um performed you know what i mean like there's no way in 2024 ronda rousey actually believes that she's currently in the same position popularity wise as to where she was say back in 2015 at her peak popularity like i don't think she actually believes that or i'm sorry i don't believe her body actually necessarily believes that like you know what i mean in her heart her hearts i think it's more so her brain that's what i'm saying i believe it might be a mental episode that's currently ongoing with ronda rousey to actually believe that she is currently in the same spot 10 years ago as to where she's at right now but if she's not let me bring her down a peg which i don't think is controversial at all by just notating the facts um so we talked about this before in the last video, but I think you guys know where I'm going with this. Rhonda, you're not relevant. Like, like I feel as if she has too many yes men around her to let her know whether or not she's relevant. But let a person from the outside looking in who has nothing to gain from you or the situation. Let me tell you that you're not relevant at all. And you really haven't been for easily probably like the last six, seven, maybe even eight years. Like once you got dusted by the man, by Amanda Nunes, that was that was it. That that was that was a done data. And not to mention, she talks like she's not a polarizing figure. Look again, I'm not from the world of UFC or MMA, but I've dabbled it. I've dabbled in it enough to see to see people's criticisms and comments directed at Ronda Rousey. I've seen Ronda Rousey outside of WWE con uh, conduct interviews, right? I've seen her go out of her way to go at Floyd Mayweather a couple of years ago. Like, she is not just a narcissist. So let's just put that to the side, because like I said... I don't think the narcissism really is just stemming strictly from arrogance. I think when you're this much of a narcissist, there's some mental issues going on right there. But I believe Ronda Rousey actually thinks to herself, kind of like the Bill Goldberg thing I talked about a couple of days ago of Oscar, but I think she really believes that she is the greatest thing walking on planet Earth. Like, this whole feminist nonsense and all this other kind of stuff, I really believe that she thinks everything that she's doing not only is furthering her relevancy, but more so that, like, how do I put this? She actually believes that people give a damn about her in 2024. You know what I mean? Almost everything Ronda Rousey touches, like turns the shit lately like you know what i mean not to mention i've never seen someone put themselves in the middle of a fan base in so many situations where everybody hates her ronda rousey is a very unlikable person right never mind how she carries herself but just her aesthetic her aura it's just something off about ronda rousey that just makes her a very easily detestable person I don't know if it's the cocky attitude. I don't know if it's the way she, like I said, it could be this the way that she carries herself. But you go to UFC, there are a bunch of fans who do not like Ronda Rousey. They hate Ronda Rousey. 
Now, again, I won't get too much in the weeds when it comes to that, because that's not my special criteria. I know there are MMA fans in the audience. You guys can probably educate some people. You can educate me going further, because as far as I know with Ronda Rousey, the main critique is she and I made a comparison. She's kind of like the person in if, if, if she, I'll put it this way, if, if it was a wrestling equivalent, it'd be like someone who thinks that they're an amazing wrestler when almost all their opponents were Mr. Perfects, Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, Kenny Omegas. Like when that's all your opponents and you really don't have to do anything and you think you're the world's greatest wrestlers or wrestler when those are your opponents, all the single, like every single match is those caliber of opponents. And then when you get into a match, when you have to be the one to carry it, you're absolutely shitting the bed. That's essentially the wrestling equivalent when talking to UFC fans. They think, and again, I can't speak to it, but their whole perspective is Ronda Rousey was fed chumps. And therefore, when she got into the octagon, it wasn't so much that she was good as much as her opponents were terrible. And then she went up against, you know, actually good people and they absolutely mopped the floor with her. But again, I'll leave that up to the UFC fans movies and tvs there's a bunch of people who have seen ronda rousey act and they think she's absolutely horrible i think one of the critiques i seen was that she was incredibly stiff and stoic and that she doesn't have any method acting skills from my understanding i could be wrong about that also but that's one of the critiques that i was seeing right so she's bad at that also and i'm not sure as far as her drawing ability goes at the time and I'm not sure even further past that, but like I said, I'll leave that up to people also who are more expert, more of an expert in that field, if you will. The professional wrestling aspect comes to me, and Ronda uh, has been a, a avalanche, metaphorically speaking, since she first arrived. What I mean by that is she started off relatively well. Her best match was her first match, and... <laughs> Funny enough, the UFC equivalent happens to be in wrestling also. She was with Triple H and Kurt Angle. Even at their worst, it's Triple H and Kurt Angle. And Stephanie, as far as a character is considered, was there also. And she's one of the best characters in wrestling history. And one of the best heels. Very underrated as a heel. And she gave a lot of credibility to Ronda Rousey. And she started her off right as far as putting her on a better footing with the fans. As far as the fans acknowledging that Ronda Rousey is the good guy in all this versus Stephanie McMahon, right? Very easy to get over with the McMahons involved as far as your character is considered and very easy to be looked upon as a good wrestler when Kurt Angle and Triple H are in the ring with you even at their worst in a tag team match to hide all your faults and what you don't know as far as a wrestler is considered yet, right? Since that point in time, literally everything Ronda got involved with was absolute garbage. Ronda Rousey is not a good wrestler. Ronda Rousey cannot cut promos. Ronda Rousey is very boring as a character. There is nothing about Ronda Rousey that screams superstar. It's really just her name value that she established from the UFC, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But know your limits. Understand your limits. Know that you are limited. Know that whatever you do going forward in the wrestling business, because you ain't got it like that, will be under extreme scrutiny when you're an outsider stepping in. That's why people give praise to Logan Paul so much, because Logan Paul, hate him or love him, he came into the world of professional wrestling. He clearly took this seriously enough to put himself into a position like this, and he fits like a glove. It's like Ronda Rousey felt like she can just... Because, again, say what you will about Logan Paul. I think he really, really felt like he had to put in the work to be accepted by wrestling fans. Now, granted, that could have more to do with his narcissism. Because I heard about the stuff with him and his brother, Jake Paul, as far as him constantly undercutting them. As far as um, name value is considered and putting them down and stuff. That could have more to do with the fact that Logan just didn't want to embarrass himself. But that's a good way to, you know, live through life. You don't want to embarrass yourself, so you're going to do your best to not embarrass yourself. Whereas with Ronda Rousey, like I said, the narcissism starts to take more 
of a role over like the narcissism part as far as the arrogance starts to take more over and it's not really the narcissism of like i don't want to be embarrassed but the narcissism is i can't be embarrassed right and she feels that her name is going to carry more weight and therefore she doesn't have to do as much because she's ronda rousey in the end of the day and it came back to bite her and then not to mention all the little digs that she would do online just completely shitting on the wrestling business over and over and over again constantly saying it's fake when i haven't been in the business for barely a year and i want fans to accept me for who i am when oh you guys are marks using inside terminology like you have like what the fuck you guys remember that whole little hulk hogan parody thing she did a couple years ago on twitter with the whole mark is a mark thing like come on bro you overstepping your boundaries like you are in a world where you are still invited you are still a guest in this world all right when you come inside this house you will dust your feet all right you will wipe your feet on the mat you will not track mud throughout this house of wrestling and she just never really got that it never really seeped into her mind Everything that came from Ronda Rousey was legitimately from the perspective of I am Ronda Rousey and you will bow down to me. And she put herself on bad footing with the wrestling fans. And she never takes accountability for anything. She made terrible decision after terrible decision after terrible decision. Appealing to no one at all. Doubtful even her own fans if they're even still around. And then you get to a point where now even with all this stuff wwe is still giving you a platform they really didn't have to because in reality again you're a terrible wrestler you're a terrible character you're a terrible promo you literally have no tools to give reality we all know that your name value doesn't hold any weight anymore they did you a favor by giving you a platform and what do you do what do you do you run your mouth you pretend as if you know more than what you really do and you feel like the opportunities that weren't given to you was based off of sexism and discrimination and all these other little things. And then you bring all the other women inside this to say that they deserve better when in reality, they're just a facade for you to not say it about yourself directly because you know how that will make you look. Right? How does no one see through the bullshit already? I'm pretty sure. You know what? I'm not even going to say that. Usually, I like to generalize and I'll project that on the audience. No. I think even you guys at this point see the bullshit that Ronda Rousey is doing right now at the moment, right? It's everybody's fault but her fault. It's Triple H's fault. It's Vince McMahon's fault. And lo and behold, we're now in a situation where everything is starting to catch up with the devil McMahon himself. And it gives her a way to kind of ease in and use this again as another excuse as to why. She was never really given any opportunities. When Rhonda, you've been given every opportunity in the world. Your first year in, you main event at WrestleMania. Do you have any clue in the wrestling world how big of a deal that is and still to this day? Because you'll have people who will still say that WrestleMania night one is just a main event in its name alone. It's not the real main event. The real main event is WrestleMania night two. That's the real main event, right? You main evented WrestleMania with one night as a girl. I don't think she really recognizes how big of a fucking deal that was. Not to mention, I think no one really talks about this also. As far as in front of a live audience, Ronda Rousey, Charlotte, and Becky legitimately in front of a live audience are the last main event in the history of WrestleMania in this traditional format. 2020 was the PC Center and 2021 was the start of the two nights of WrestleMania. Ronda Rousey has been given the privilege to be the last main event in the history of WrestleMania in this traditional format. And she actually believes, and by the way, in one of the shittiest finishes in wrestling history, with that crucifix. One of the worst main events of WrestleMania history. One of the worst women matches ever in my opinion. Not the worst, but damn sure one of the worst. <sighs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. But they give her mediocrity. Nah, Ronda, they ain't give you mediocrity. You, you earned mediocrity. That's the big difference. You earned mediocrity. That was bestowed upon you because you earned it. You deserved it. 
apparently meritocracy isn't the thing when you're a woman, right? Meritocracy isn't the thing when you're a Ronda Rousey. Hopefully this is the last time I talk about Ronda. Don't really need to go into the weeds in this. I think we got enough. We got enough information out of all this. That was a very embarrassing line for her to say. And I don't know, man. If there's some Ronda Rousey fans out there, maybe it was up to me to bring y'all down the peg or two. I don't know. But that's just assuming there are even any Ronda Rousey fans at all in this current year. Because, again, we're in 2024 and not 2014. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Oh, Devontae, you're too harsh on her. I feel like you're saying all this from a sexist perspective. Oh, Devontae, if only you only understood the struggles of a woman's wrestler in 2024. Oh, Devontae, don't you know that almost everything that she ever had to go through was just straight up bullying and sexism and yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. We've heard it all before a million and one times, all right? Take some accountability. You want to be a strong woman? Okay, be a strong woman. As a strong woman, we take accountability for what we do in life. And in life, <laughs> we call it like we see it and we see real for real. And what's real on the real? Ronda Rousey, I don't give a shit how you feel. You're trash. It is what it is. You're trash. And today, you're not relevant. And no one cares about you. That's not disparaging. That's just facts. Whether you're a woman, whether you're a man, facts don't discriminate. Sorry. Deuces. P. Ice.